canards, the latest in thing you have to have on your car for track or road at the moment, the current fan. The problem is that you may well be driving a car that you can't buy uh, canards for off the shelf. So I'm going to show you how to make them. Now I checked out what's available on YouTube at the moment and there's plenty of videos on how to fit canards. How to fit canards. I didn't realise it was that hard to screw two holes in the side of your car and, and bolt something on. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make your own. The shape that you want, the design that you want and tailor made to fit your car. I'm going to do it easily and I'm just going to use materials that you'll have access to and techniques that you'll be able to do without any specialised equipment. So sit back and I'll show you how to do it. When it comes to the design of our canards, you and I don't have the resources of an F1 team or a wind tunnel. Most of us see what we like on cars that we admire and copy it and hope that the technology will work on our car as well. One word of caution about canards though, beware of making them with sharp edges, just like a flat plane. There was a case recently where a guy was walking through the pits and a, a car went through slowly and the canards cut him and he lost his leg. Eat my shorts. Well, all right, he got a bad cut. Oh, behave. Well, it could have happened. The point I'm making is I've got a personal preference for canards with an upturned edge. I think you trap more air on the wing than it, just a flat piece where the air will go over the side and it's also a bit safer. This will be a three step process. Making a tin die, making a mould of it, and then producing a fibreglass copy out of that mould. And you'll need to do this for each canard. You can't make one for the left side and just flip it over upside down over on the right side. You've got to make one for each side. So the steps I'm going to show you, you've got to do them for each canard. As usual, for track work, anything you put on your car, has to meet the rules and generally speaking uh, most car rules that I can find specify a maximum of two canards on the front and um, each country and situation will have its own rules as far as their lengths and the widths and how far they are and are not allowed to poke out. You need to check those. Then basically get some tape and mark out the rough shape of, uh, of the canard that you want to fit. So in my case I want something sort of curved like that. So I'll put the tape in a curve, one there, and I'll put the second one maybe parallel to it there. And just play around with that tape until you get something that, uh, that you're happy with. But that gives you the profile of the shape of your wing.